Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. Today I'm going to show you how we come up with these special right angle triangles that we use to get exact values with our primary trig ratios. We're going to do this today in radians. The reason why these triangles are important is because they give us the special angle values of pi over 4, pi over 3, and pi over 6. And that allows us to get exact values without using a calculator. So I'm going to do the first one with you. And the first one, we're going to start off with a right angle isosceles triangle. If we have a right angle isosceles triangle, these two sides are equal, then this angle here is pi over 2. And these two angles must be equal to each other. So they're going to be half of pi over 2 because we know that the interior angles of a triangle have to add up to pi radians. So that means they're both going to be pi over 4. So when we're doing our trig ratios, we can choose either of those vertices to, to look at because they're both the same. I have named the side lengths of my triangle 1 and 1 because we always want to choose the easiest numbers possible when, when we're trying to derive something. So to find the side length that we have here on the hypotenuse, we can use the Pythagorean theorem or the sum of squares. So let's do that quickly. 1 squared plus 1 squared is going to give us, let's call that r squared. 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, add them together and we get 2. And so r is going to be root 2. Don't get that exact, don't uh, put that in a calculator. We want the exact value of root 2 there. We're talking about exact values here, not approximated decimals. Okay, so now we have the complete triangle here and we can go ahead and get all of our trig ratios from this triangle for the angle pi over 4. So let's do that. Let's start with sine. Sine of pi over 4. So we're going to use this angle here, pi over 4. The sine ratio is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. That's 1 over root 2. Now, we might want to rationalize that because sometimes we don't like radicals in the denominator. That means we would multiply this fraction by root 2 over root 2, which gives us root 2 over 2. Both answers are the same, and they are the exact value of sine of pi over 4. Let's do cosine. Cosine of pi over 4, using this angle, and we're going to do adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. 1 over root 2 again. And again, that is the same thing as root 2 over 2, once we rationalize. And finally, tangent of pi over 4. And the tangent ratio is opposite over adjacent. So if we're here, we're going to go opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over 1, and that's equal to 1. There are exact values for the special angle pi over 4. We get that from that triangle. Okay, let's do it again. This time, we need the special angles pi over 3 and pi over 6. So we're going to start off this time with a, an equilateral triangle. And um, this equilateral triangle is going to allow us to get the angles that we require. Now, you're, I know you're thinking, we don't have a right angle here and we need a right angle in order to use the trig ratios, but we're going to create a right angle in just a minute. So to start off, um, I'm going to label each of these side lengths as two. And you'll see why in just a moment. So they're all going to be equal to two but I need a right angle. So I'm gonna take this equilateral, tri equilateral triangle and I'm gonna cut it in half. 
So let me do that. I'm gonna do it in bold so that we can take a good look at the triangle that, we're, that we want to focus on. So I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to bold one of the two halves of the triangle so that we can focus on that one. Okay, oops. So now we have a right angle right here. And if I cut that side length in half, I now have a one right here. So now we have a nice number. Now let's talk about the angles. If we had an equilateral triangle and we know that all three inside angles of a triangle have to add up to pi, then each angle has to be pi over three. So this one is pi over three. This one was pi over three. And this one was pi over three, but I cut it in half. So half of pi over three is pi over six. And now I have a pi over three angle and a pi over six angle, which are the other two special angles that we require. That's great, we're almost done now. This side length is missing. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem or sum of squares again to get this missing side length here. Let's call that side length y. And so we would have one squared plus y squared equals two squared. Now let's simplify. One plus y squared equals four. Let's move this over so we can isolate y. y squared would be three. And this means y equals root three. And we want to leave it exactly like that. Okay, there is our second special triangle. Now we can use this to get all of our trig ratios for the angle pi over six and pi over three. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with pi over six. So we'll do sine of pi over six and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That gives us one over two. Let's do cosine of pi over six. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. We have root three over two. And finally, tangent of pi over six. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'm looking at this angle here. Opposite over adjacent gives us one over root three. And again, if we want to rationalize, multiply by root three over root three, and we get root three over three. And here are our exact values using the angle pi over six. Okay, let's do it one more time, but this time we're gonna use the angle pi over three. So using pi over three now, sine of pi over three, opposite over hypotenuse. That's root three over two. And cosine of pi over three, this is adjacent over hypotenuse, one over two. And finally, tangent of pi over three. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we have root three over one, which is root three. We have found all of the exact values for our trig ratios for the three special angles. Pi over six, pi over three, and pi over four using these two special triangles. Thanks for watching. This is A Loves Math.